Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings everybody. My group and I was assigned to make strategic action plans to reduce the level of air and water pollution globally for the next 10 years. Now, you may be wondering who my group consists of. Here they are. First, we have Muhammad Hafi bin Abdul Rahman, me, Ryan bin Kamal Arif, and lastly, Shazril bin Ahmad Charizal Azwa. We are students from 5 Aurora. Now, this task wouldn't be completed without the guidance of our beloved biology teacher, Wan Sariza Binti Khairuddin. The problem statement for this task is, what are the major factors that contribute to air and water pollution? Well, based on our research, our group concluded that its factors are untreated sewage, substances such as carbon dioxide, nitrogen dioxide and methane found in smoke from factories, and vehicles, and finally, substances such as ozone, organic solvents, and hydrocarbons from indoor air, which begs the question, based on the recent statistics on climate change, do you think it is worth the effort to try and prevent air and water pollution? The answer is yes. We came up with a few inventions of our own to reduce air and water pollution. First up, for water pollution, we designed this drain cleaner device. It is a small, compact cleaner vacuum that can fit into open drains. An infrared scanner is installed in front to prevent the device from vacuuming up any living organisms. This device can work in both dry and flooded drains. In dry drains, the device will move around using wheels installed at the lower portion of its body. In the event of the water level rising above the detection line on the device, the wheels will be contracted while a small, inflatable raft is activated allowing the device to float. The propeller that lays dormant during dry cleaning activates, allowing the device to easily traverse through water. Water absorbed from the vacuum during this process will be released back into the drain through the release valve. The device acts as a detachable vacuum, meaning trash in the trash compartment can be easily disposed of after cleaning. The procedure of building this device is that the base of the device is constructed using stainless steel, a material commonly used in constructing boats. In the exterior of the body, there is space allowing us to fit a small wheel alongside a small inflatable raft. A propeller is placed at the back of the device. At the front, an infrared detector is installed and a vacuum is installed directly below. A thick steel plating is installed to protect the vacuum. An antenna is placed on the back of the base. In the middle of the base, there is room to place a detachable vacuum cleaner. Moving on, there are a few benefits of this device, which are, it reduces drain clogs which can cause minor flooding to cities, and it also reduces diseases such as dengue fever and malaria amongst residents caused due to dirty water. Up next, we have the trapdoor compartment. This trapdoor compartment is installed at the end of drainage systems. This device functions to separate foreign particles from water before entering the sewage system. Impurities are separated from the water by the permeable wall. Over time, foreign particles may block these pathways, causing the water level to gradually build up at the entrance. Once the water reaches the detection line, the automated door opens leading to the trapdoor compartment. Trash will be left behind due to the permeable wall while excess water will move back into sewer system through a connecting pipe. The trap door can be opened from above, allowing trash to be disposed of easily from the compartment. Its benefits include that water in sewers would be less polluted allowing it to be more easily converted to domestic use, and less clogs along drains in roads, which ensures the safety of drivers. The procedure of constructing this device is firstly, it is installed at the end of water drains. The structure consists of an automated door that will open into the trapdoor compartment when water exceeds the detection line. Then, trash is separated from the water through a permeable membrane such as a bark fence. A pipe is installed allowing the separated water to be transported to the sewers. A trapdoor is installed above to easily allow a person to dispose of the accumulated trash. Here comes our inventions to reduce air pollution. Primarily, we designed this indoor air purification box. It is a box to reduce indoor air pollution. 
It uses photocatalytic purification technology to remove harmful particles, viruses, ozone, bacteria, organic solvents, and hydrocarbons from indoor air. Now, you may be wondering, what is photocatalytic purification technology? Photocatalytic air purification is a process that involves a light-activated catalyst reacting with organic pollutants to oxidize them. Essentially, these pollutants undergo a chemical reaction that transforms them into non-toxic substances. This device is placed in the ventilation section of buildings and is connected to a ventilation tube so purified air will be ventilated throughout the whole building. The procedure for building this device is first connecting the ultraviolet sea lamps to the zinc plates. The ultraviolet sea light is used to inactivate airborne pathogens and microorganisms such as mold, bacteria, and viruses. Then, an electrostatic particle trap is placed in front of it. The electrostatic particle trap is used to trap other harmful particles. It then goes through the same process again like the beginning with the ultraviolet sea light. After that, an ozone decomposition catalyst is placed so the particles go through it so that the ozone will be decomposed. Lastly, purified air will be ventilated through the usual aluminium ventilation tube. This invention is important to buildings such as offices, malls, and educational institutions. Its benefits are not only does it use less energy compared to the conventional air ventilation system, it also saves money and reduces health risks such as contracting viruses or respiratory problems. Finally, we have the public air filter. This public air filter can be used in cities to reduce smog and other contaminants in the air. The public air filter works by using its fans to pull in smog or other contaminants in the air into the filter so the air in the surroundings will be smog and contaminant free. The filter itself is made of fiberglass and carbon and has a wide surface area to filter out large amounts of pollutants such as nitrogen dioxide, fine dust or ozone in the air around the city. The filter is also easily removed or installed for easy and hassle-free maintenance. The fans itself are high performance and energy efficient as it is powered by solar so it will not use any energy from power outlets. The public air filter also has a built-in sensor and can provide information such as air quality levels in the area of the installed filter. It can also use the cloud to monitor the temperature, wind speed, air quality and humidity in the surrounding area. This filter can be used in cities with high levels of pollution such as Beijing or Lahore. Now for the procedure, the public air filter is made up of three compartments, the fan compartment, the sensor compartment, and the filter compartment. First, the housing must be drilled into the ground to minimize movement. Then, the solar panels are installed into the top of the housing to be connected to the fans. The fans will then be installed at the back of the housing. After that, the carbon filter, then the fiberglass filter will be installed. Lastly, the temperature, air quality, wind speed, and humidity sensors will be installed to the motherboard of the filter. The motherboard will then be connected to the cloud via a SIM card installed in it. The benefits of this air filter is that it is energy efficient due to the usage of the solar-powered fans. This device can also be used to increase the air quality of areas with high levels of pollution, decreasing the chance of contracting a pulmonary or airborne disease. It will also cool down the surrounding area as most areas with high levels of pollution are in hot cities. The air filter will also reduce the odor of smog or smoke from vehicles. A special event that occurred was that in our research in coming up with a drain cleaner device, we found out it does not require the development of any new or groundbreaking technology. Instead, all of its components are already widely available. In conclusion, we hope this video has given you the motivation to do your part to save the planet. We shouldn't be under the mindset that the planet is already doomed, nor should we wait for the technology to advance further before we take any significant action. We have all the tools necessary to prevent further pollution. All we need now is the pledge to work together in order to make significant progress. That is all from us. Thank you very much.